like that. Oh, yeah. And then it was. Did you lock the door, Will? Can I have the yeah, key? I locked the door. <laughs> and we're off. Just like that. 30 minutes after schedule. I forgot a hat. Oh, yeah. smart. There's a cap here. Can you just grab my Kubra? Oh, you're, you're all fucked. I've got heaps of caps, just one? my Kubra. I don't think I, any would fit. I don't think it would fit it. Just yeah. a Kubra. Thanks, though. Hi, everyone. This is our second to last day in Australia. Will and Sarah have kindly offered to take us camping. An hour and a half away from Melbourne. I have a little bit of a bug, but it's not holding us back from having fun. Oh, Will. Fuck no. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Life is short. Oh, I should have got you a, um, what are they called? Without the, the oh, top. It? Yeah, oh, that thing. You Do you want to buy it? Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. Fuck it out. Let's Earth. go. It's okay. On Sunny's too, Sarah. She's bossy. Yeah, so I just want to point out, you have the net contribution so far. To <laughs> Will the thinks that I haven't contributed this trip. What do you think? I agree with him. <laughs> 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 very spoiled. Thanks, Sarah. Two visors. On your set. And we're finally on the road. Five o'clock on the buzzer. Sarah's packing up the food. Vegetarian pizza for you. Oh, for me. Um, yogurt. Hi, Will. I'm all packed. This is actually helping. <laughs> Tofu. Fairly the most gourmet camping trip. We're making a curry. We're making a curry. Super easy. You want green or? It's hotter. Oh. Yellow one. Should we add some turmeric? I've got some ginger. What are you packing, love? You can't go camping. Oh my god, I got these for you. Coffee. We're over here, so. Oh no, it's quinoa. Nice. Oh. Is ready to go. Oh. It's oh. got a face steam. Oh. <laughs> do you always do this? Uh, no. We were just requested pumpkin, and I just know that. It takes a long time. Yeah. What are you doing? Just pre slicing holes in glad bake. Oh, yeah. Like, just smell it the knife. Because we're going to have dumplings when we're camping <laughs> and we're going to so put good. it in this. And because we're going to do a few batches, um, the dumplings stick to the bamboo. More time? Oh, whoa. Oh. Is that how that works? Yeah. So you just, you just. I mean, I probably should have made it a bit smaller, but you just do that. Asia, are you packed up and ready to go? Hi. Okay. Bye guys. After five sets. Thank you. Have a great campaign. I forgot. In you go. Quick stop Milk, at the Woolies. Butter. Butter, coconut, coconut milk. Coconut milk. Oh, making memory. a video or are you just yeah, vlogging? I'm making a video. My new YouTube is called Hi I'm Asia. Hi, I'm Asia. Okay, we're going to the Murrindindi River. Murrindindi is an indigenous word. We can research it. In Australia, it's very common these days at you know, state events and all that, they'll do what's known as a welcome to country. A welcome to country is done by someone who's indigenous, an acknowledgement of country is done by someone who's not indigenous. Either way, purpose being to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we're on at that point. Something that is really beneficial to do is rather than just an acknowledgement of country, actually research where we're going, which language group, which tribe was responsible for that region. A way to empower the indigenous culture and people. So when you drive past and you see things like Wurundjeri and Yarra and Murrindindi and Yorta Yorta and all this kind of stuff, Karakalinga, actually research Spend three seconds to find out. So easy to identify with like significant people from mainstream culture, but in so doing, you forget to say, well, like actually, who was here first? So where we are going is a very significant part of Victoria for Indigenous people. It's very vibrant, very fertile land, as you'll experience for yourself shortly. Heaps of river systems, and that's that's all changed now with obviously the presence of white Australia.
tent's all set up. Not here. Yeah. How are you feeling? Great outdoors? It's good to be out here. Yeah? Yeah. It's looking good. This is the campsite. It's called a bush hammer. <laughs> He's got his fancy shirt on. Camping shirt. Camping. Yeah, shirt. We just came from a family Christmas lunch. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Bit of canvas. Does swag stand for something? No. Nope. Comes with a mattress in it, so you can just roll it out. And then you can see in there a mattress. That's not normally in there, but you can sleep in there. Sarah, we lit a fire. Fucking <laughs> 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 uh, no fish, sadly. We're about right. to have some dumplings. You put it on the burner. Yeah. On this one or the jet boil? Jet boil. Okay, so in here, see the little crack in the gas bulb. Yeah. A little bit there. That's gonna line up. Yeah. Mm. With that little bit there, and then you Sick. pull that down. See, it pulls the bottle in. Yeah. No, it's good. And that's no, where it needs to line up. Mm. I just should have replaced it with a lid. Fine, mate. All right. <laughs> just like that. Then... Yeah. Okay. It was pretty funny. And he goes, Is this how I do it? And I was just like, Tap, 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 tap. Yeah. And I was like, No, I reckon you're good. <laughs> you're being a good time. Yeah, heck, all right. And then we're like, Duk, <laughs> Sarah's a country girl through and through. Yeah. She's like, whoa, Sarah, you just did it again. Next level. Taking it to the next level. Gotcha. Like a level in a toolkit. Get it? No. When you're Sarah's got the dumplings. It's melting in your heart. It looks like pretty good on this chair. Soy sauce, right on the last batch. Oh, no, Because of you. <laughs> soy sauce. Yeah. Looks so good. Mm. Mm. I'm so excited. Mmm. Soy sauce is a big lift. Next level. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> that was what you see in this food camping, guys. How easy it is. And it's like, no, like, don't even have to do much washing up. Mm -hmm. It looks mm. like shallot. <laughs> <laughs> Shallot, ginger, coconut. How'd you get on? Steam these. Okay. It smells so good. Pumpkin? Where's this one? These are the pumpkins Sarah pre-cooked in the kitchen. Guys, we're nearly... Way to go. Do you want to take it? It's an open pumpkin bag. It literally takes nothing to cook. Yeah, just you just got to warm it up. So sweet. How does it taste to you? Really good, AG. Well done, Sarah. He's got gloves, Burks. The Cobra. travel in packs and wallabies are usually by, on, by themselves or in a couple. Hugh, can you get some footage? Oh. 
Aww. Okay, so I can make scrambled eggs with spinach. There's uh, bread. What kind of bread? Bought it from Garage Sale for ten bucks. Oh. You want to try some? Sure. Black sesame sourdough? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, grab the lower pack. On the, on the dash there. All right, is there still any water it's left good. in that jet bowl? Is it wild these on? Right, there is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I actually prefer fried eggs. I mm. love a good fried egg. What about poached eggs? No, I don't really, like, I don't know why. Everybody loves poached eggs because you go to a cafe and that's all you get. But I reckon a really well fried egg is the best because no one does it well. My dad taught me the best way how to do it. I scrambled the eggs, but she prefers fried eggs. <laughs> how come you didn't fry the eggs out here? It's just easier in the it's too, saucepan yeah. rather than a fry pan. Yeah. Too many variables. So you put the coffee in that thing. Coffee handle, right? Okay. Need some water. Fine. That's gone down. Yeah, just soak it in. So you don't need any more than that? No. Oh, I see. So it all goes down and then it gets steamed up into there and it drips. Coming straight away now. You see. Coffee's coming straight out. Oh, nice. Yeah, this looks good. I don't drink coffee. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why do you like that part? It's the, all the oils of the coffee being released. It's got a lot of flavor in that. In that there. And then watch this, I release it. Mm. Voila. Oh, I'm very good looking bush coffee. I'm gonna have a little now this. Bush honey oh, yogurt. So in, what the, is in the bush, you got a bush honey. I think it comes from Queensland. This oh. is the yogurt and it's set in the pot and it has this layer of like what I call yogurt crack, which is like this thick layer of cream before you get to the yogurt and it is the best. How does it taste? Oh my God, so good. Gotta go with what's easy in the bush. A good little, someone's iPhone on the ground over here. Oh, Hugh, your iPhone. He never cracks it, and he drops it so much. He dropped it on some rocks here, and it's still not cracked. Good, you All right, butter. All right, where's the coloring? I need a knife. How do you know you need more? Oh, I just need a nice, I want a nice, like, a, a nice wet covering, I guess. Outdoors? Yeah. Hugh has flies all over his wounds, so we need to clean it. 
What do you call that? Is there a bit of bush medicine? Yeah. Bush medicine. <laughs> I think it made it a bit great. We used some of this, but I like the idea of grabbing it with the spot. So you want me to put it this way? I don't want a sticky part on it. But just to cover it. No, just cover it all. It'll come off though. I don't know about this. Plating up. This is definitely the most beautiful camp food I've ever had. How is it, Hubie? Will just sent me up the hill to figure out how much this campsite costs because we forgot. And there weren't any envelopes last night to pay so we're just gonna stick some cash in the drop hopefully they get the money there's these different campsites it's similar to america you see other people but the thing that was cool is different than california is there are we didn't have to book ahead of time in california you have to book like six months in advance to get a campsite but this one we just drove up yesterday and there were a bunch of campsites. Okay, let's see how much this place costs. A little bit under the weather. I'm already out of breath. For seven dollars. It's really cheap. So here's an example of one of the campsites. They're pretty large. And then here's our campsite. It costs seven dollars to camp here. You were right. Oh my god, you've got a whole string of hair ties. And oh, there's a little envelope. What is that? It's fennel. It's a plant. Oh, sweet. You've had an envelope? Yep. Where's the car? Oh, and you put a quote in it? It says, I believe in reincarnation, but only a fool waits for death to start a new life. Hopefully, someone gets something out of that. <laughs> pop this in here really important to pay for parks so you can have nice bathrooms. So I want to show you all the bathroom because in America the bathrooms aren't this clean. Well it's flushier and it doesn't smell. It's so clean. Someone was just washing their dishes while I was doing this little bathroom tour. Okay let's walk back to our campsite. Sarah's making some more dumplings. You making another curry? Nah, it's going to be. Fried, fried rice. Yeah, fried rice, scrambled tofu, hybrid. Mm. A nice bit of hot sauce here. So, Wilbur, what are you doing here? You're just uh, tying on a little deer's hair caddis, like that. Yeah, but what knot are you tying? Well, it's not what you know, it's what knot you know, Hubert. Tricky terrain. Really tricky terrain. So we've got a fish. He's just eaten the dry fly, beautiful Antron caddis. Magic cake right here in the middle of the stream. And then he's run under and he's now parked up or I'm snagged or one or the other. Oh, oh, good fish. And oh, with and fly? No, not with fly. Beautiful. That's a great result. Oh. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you.